Hello students, welcome you all. In UV visible spectroscopy, today I will explain the selection rules for the electronic transitions. Now, various electronic transitions are possible when UV visible radiation is absorbed by any molecules. Some of the transitions, they are allowed transitions and some are the forbidden transitions. So let us see when a transition is said to be allowed and when it is said to be forbidden condition. Now there are certain rules uh, which governs these uh, transitions. So one of the selection rule is spin selection rule. So spin selection rule. So according to this rule, the total spin multiplicity during the electronic transition that should not get change. That is delta S, this is equal to zero. Whereas this delta S, this is change in total spin multiplicity or we can write change in total spin multiplicity. that should be equal to zero. Change in total spin multiplicity during the electronic transition when transition occur from ground state to the excited state that should be equal to zero. And we know that the total spin multiplicity that is equal to 2s plus 1. So this total spin multiplicity this is equal to 2s plus 1. Okay, and we should not get confused with this S and with this S. So this S is the total spin and 2S plus 1 is the total spin multiplicity. So where this S is equal to, this is equal to sum of total spin. It may be S1, I am writing this small s, S2 and, and so on. Okay, so <clears throat> according to this, singlet to singlet is allowed transition. Okay, uh, so 2s plus 1, if this 2s plus 1, this is equal to 1, then it is called as a singlet. If it is coming out to be 1, then it is called as a singlet 1. And if this is coming out to be 3, then this is called as a triplet. So I will explain how, how this singlet and triplet. Okay, so according to this, the spin, total spin multiplicity do, do, uh, does not get changed, means only singlet to singlet, so that is we can say singlet to singlet is allowed. Singlet to singlet is allowed or we can say triplet to triplet allowed. Triplet to triplet transition this is allowed one. so this is the allowed transition okay according to this rule and singlet to triplet that will be not allowed singlet to triplet this is not allowed or we can say triplet to singlet is not allowed so during this transition what we can see say the spin multiplicity is changing. So that's why they are not allowed or forbidden transition. Forbidden condition. Okay. Now suppose if we have a electron in a ground state and these are the electrons in the ground state. Okay. And here if we find the total spin multiplicity for this ground state. So this is ground state and here uh, this is the excited state. When electron is present in the ground state. So in this case, if we will find the total spin multiplicity that is 2s plus 1, then this is equal to 2 because these two electrons are present and opposite spins. So that's why 
that this s this s is equal to s1 plus s2 so means spin of these two electrons and they are opposite one that's why half minus half one is plus half and another is minus half and plus one this comes out to be this comes out to be one so this is the singlet here the electrons are present in a singlet state now suppose after absorbing the after absorbing uv light the this electron one of the electron may go to the excited state so this is going into the excited state and when it is going to the when transition takes place then the spin remains same okay there is no flipping in this spin okay so this spin remains same that is they are in opposite spin here also during excitation uh, it remains in a opposite manner mm. positive spin is there so here also here also if you find the total spin multiplicity and 2s plus 1 if you will find here also then this is also coming out to be 1 and that's why this is singlet this is singlet now or there is another possibility another possibility is that during transition the spin get flipped so is flipping of spin is possible during the electronic transition so let us say say if this is in opposite manner then it get flipped and now two spin are in same direction so in this case if you will find the total spin multiplicity 2s plus 1 this is equal to this is equal to two two spins both are in same direction that's why half plus half and plus one this is coming out to be three so this is in triplet this is triplet okay so what this spin selection rule says during electronic transition after absorbing the uv radiation during electronic transition the spin should not flip spin the direction of spin should remain same which was present in a ground state so so this singlet to singlet is allowed but singlet to triplet such kind of transition is not allowed this kind of flipping is not allowed during the electronic transition because one of the reason that the flipping requires much higher energy so it is not possible so this is one of the rule that this total electricity that should remain uh, that should remain same during the transition now second is the laporte selection rule now second rule now second one Laporte selection rule. Now, according to this rule, delta L, this should be plus minus 1. Means there is a change in L value. There is a change in L value and this L, it, uh, it corresponds to the symmetry. So all we can say during electronic transition, symmetry is changing. During electronic transition, if it is zero, then it means there is no change. If it is plus minus one, means symmetry should change during the electronic transition always. Then only the transition is possible. Okay. So suppose uh, if any orbital, uh, suppose uh, means according to this one thing, the symmetry should get changed during the transition. That is, symmetry changes during electronic transition. Electronic transition, okay. Symmetry should change during electronic transition. Now, <clears throat> suppose suppose if you say s means from s to p from s to p transition is possible or from p to d transition is possible or from d to f 
transition is possible. So such kind of transition is possible. Why? Because when electron is going from s orbital to p orbital, symmetries get changed. When electron is going from p to d orbital, symmetry get changed. From d to s, the symmetry is changing. So why? Because the which can be understood by the gyrade or uh, uh, ungirate concept. So this s orbital is the where the center of symmetry is present. Then that's why it is called the gyrade. So this is center of symmetry is present in s orbital. That's why it is gyrade. No central symmetry is present. That's why it is ungirate. So gyrade to ungirate. This is possible. Gyrate to ungirate. Where the symmetry is changing. Change in symmetry is taking place. So we know that this p orbital. This is the p orbital plus and minus. And from this center, if you will go in opposite direction, sign is changing. That's why this kind of orbital, p orbital, is said to be ungirate, having no center of symmetry. Now, from this ungirate to this gyrate, d is the d orbitals have the center of symmetry. Either either d x square minus y square or d uh, d x y y or y z or z x. Okay. Or the g z is d z square. These orbitals are the gyrate orbitals. So if you will see, then uh, this is our d x y d y z g d z x. So here this is positive sign. This is positive. This is negative. This is negative. So from center, if you will go in opposite direction, then we are getting the same sign. This is gyrate. In the same way, if we have a d x square minus y square, this is d x square minus y square. Here also, the center uh, will go from opposite from center. If we are going in opposite direction, we are getting the same sign. That's why it is also this. and d z square, d z square. Okay, so this is also a this is also having the center of symmetry. So these d orbitals are d orbitals are gyrate orbitals, and f orbitals are ungyrate. In the same way, if you will see the f orbital, then if you see the signs of various s f orbitals, then we see that this is the this is not having the center of symmetry. So such kind of transition, these are the these kind of transitions. These are the allowed transitions. They are the allowed transitions. And now, suppose means S to S, S to S. This is not possible. Transition from S orbital to S orbital is not possible. Means here, if, as you can see, the symmetry remains same. Okay, like from one S to two S, the such kind of transition is not possible because symmetry remains same. In the same way, P to P, P to P is not allowed. P to P, this is not allowed. D to D, this is not allowed. And F to F, this is not allowed. F to F, this is not allowed. So such kind of transition, they are forbidden transition. They are said to be forbidden transition. Okay. Now, in the same way as you have seen, uh, from in terms of molecular orbital, if you will see, in terms of molecular orbital. Then pi to pi star transition, pi to pi star transition. This is allowed transition. Why? Because symmetry changes when we go from pi to pi star. Symmetry changes, and this is the ungirate orbital, and whereas this is the gyrate orbital. What is the uh, pi? This is this is our pi molecular orbital. This is pi molecular orbital, and here if you will see, then this is the center, and if you will go in opposite direction. Opposite sign. That's why this is ungirate. Whereas pi star. So this is pi and pi star. All of you know this pi star. This is the pi star plus minus and plus. This is minus. So if you are going in opposite direction, then this is said to be uh, <coughs> this orbital. Next, that is sigma two sigma star. This is the allowed transition. And we know that this sigma, this sigma is gyrate orbital, and whereas this is ungyrate orbital. This is ungyrate. If you will see the sigma, then sigma is this is the sigma. 
and if you go from in opposite direction this is plus this is plus and whereas sigma star this is sigma star okay and if this is plus this is minus so sigma star is unchecked out so these are the allowed one this is allowed condition and uh, from sigma to pi star sigma to pi star then sigma this is 08 and pi star this is also 08 so this is not allowed this is not allowed in a same way from pi to sigma star this transition is also not allowed pi means pi means unjirate and sigma star this is the unjirate so in these two transition the symmetry remains same this is uh, non symmetric molecular orbital and this is symmetric molecular orbital this is also symmetric molecular orbital so no change in uh, symmetry that's why it is not allowed here this is non symmetric this is non symmetric so that's why always either from symmetric to non symmetric or from non symmetric to symmetric such kind of transition is only allowed so this is this is forbidden transition such kind of transition is said to be forbidden one okay so one of the rule that is spin selection rule and another is the another is the uh, this laporte selection rule now another third one that is that is the uh, angular momentum total angular momentum according to this third rule total angular momentum or change in angular momentum so better to write the change in angular momentum that should be equal to plus minus one during electronic transition change in angular momentum that is delta j that should be equal to plus minus one or zero or plus minus one so this is the next rule okay and this j we know that j is equal to l minus s j is equal to l minus s so <clears throat> means for example suppose for example in this case in this case if you see the j value here yeah, this is total spin multiplicity that remains well, whether this transition is allowed or not yes this transition is allowed because here total spin multiplicity that remains same and symmetry also get changed here this is a d and this is f for d l is equal to l is equal to 2 whereas for f l is equal to l is equal to 3 so there is a change in multi uh, symmetry also and there is a change in angular momentum and how much change 5 by 1 so 5, 7 by 2 minus 5 by 2 so that comes out to be 1 so there is a uh, change in angular momentum by plus 1 so that's why this transition is said to be allowed so these are the three selection rules that should be followed to see whether the electronic transition is possible or not. Thank you.